Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the entire process of installing this new wig that I have on now. So this is a completely new hairstyle for me. Like I completely switched it up. And the reason that I got a new wig is because I am going away in August this year. I'm just going on a little trip with my boyfriend and some of our friends for a week. I don't know if you guys remember, but every year we go to Cornwall. So it's literally just like that. It's just that we're not going to Cornwall this year. But basically for that week away, I just needed some new hair that was gonna be really easy. Nice new so that I can just go away and make sure that I have like a really good and trustworthy unit to deal with that week. So I actually ordered it from AliExpress which I'm so surprised with because I'm really scared when it comes to ordering from AliExpress because I've heard so many bad things about it. But I ordered this from a company called Dolago and so far so good I'm enjoying it. So if you guys are interested in how I got this look make sure that you carry on watching because I'm taking you through every single stage and every single process that I did to get this hair from out of the packet and onto my head. So before we get into the video, let's make sure that you are firstly following my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat. And then also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and get your post notifications turned on so that you never miss out on any of my new uploads. Let's just get into the video. So to begin with, I've set up my wig head and I'm literally just gonna start taking this wig out of the packaging. So this is how it came. I've just swiftly dropped that wig cap in true Nia style. But this wig cap is kind of off. It's not very close of a match to my skin tone, so I'm probably not gonna use this. But this is a 360 unit from Delago. I'm just unpacking it fully, taking off the hairnet and just kind of having a look around. So to give you some details on this wig, this is a 360 lace frontal wig with bangs or with a full fringe if you're British like me. It's 180 in density and it's 24 inches and it's in like a natural black colour so it'll probably be like 1B. I'm going to tie up the hair just to kind of get it out of the way because I'm going to be bleaching the knots so I don't want the hair to be getting in the way and be being bleached accidentally. I am completely not a professional when it comes to hair and wigs especially, like I'm still kind of new to it. I was still at this point kind of having to think about what I was gonna do. I was wondering if I should plait it, but in the end I kind of just folded it inside out like this. So it was kind of like just the cap showing and I just put it onto the doll's head like that and pinned it. So you can't really see because my filming space is really limited and the doll's head just, I couldn't get it into the frame very well. So you can only see like the top half, but I have pinned the lace down to the doll's head just to make sure that it's nice and secure and then I'm going to jump into bleaching the knots so I'm taking this Schwarzkopf Igora Vario Blonde Plus so this is a blue dust free lightening powder so it's just a bleach I'm also going to be mixing that with this cream developer by XP200 it's in 30 volume and it's 9% I just do it by eye I start off with a little bit of the developer and then I add more as I need it um, and I'm just mixing it all together making sure there's no lumps and then the ultimate test is when you hold it up and kind of like hang it from your brush like it shouldn't be sloppy enough that it kind of falls off of the brush if that makes sense you can see it's kind of stuck there it's, it's like putty and that's the consistency that you want it to be then I'm taking this got to be glued blasting freeze spray and I'm just going to spray all over the lace where I'm going to be bleaching this just helps to provide a protective layer or like a barrier even to protect the hair underneath from the bleach because obviously lace is a funny material it's very thin it's obviously got holes in it so it's quite easy for the bleach to go through and damage the hair or start bleaching the hair when obviously this hair is black so we want it to stay black um, so I'm just spraying it all over as I say this is a 360 wig so I've done it all the way around and then I'm just going to start painting on my bleach onto the knots so I'm just working my way around the hairline to begin with and because this wig has a fringe like I'm not entirely sure if this was completely necessary but I do feel like it helped because I don't know if you can see that clearly but the lace is quite dark it's a very brown lace whereas I'm quite light skinned so I definitely needed this to lift a little bit more for it to look more natural when I install it so that's why I went ahead and bleached it anyway even with the fringe situation because I just felt like it probably will help so as you can see I'm just working my way around slowly and just making sure that every bit of lace is just getting bleached because I'd rather just do it all so yeah I'm just working my way around until I've got the whole thing covered and then I'm gonna leave it on to process for about 10 minutes that's my benchmark Like I always aim for up to 10 minutes but usually it does take less than that like I'm not gonna lie it's usually a fairly quick process so I usually end up around six or seven minutes before I go and wash it off 
as you can see here as well I'm just taking it a little bit further back so I'm taking it past the clip that you can see at the top of the head the reason being is because when you bleach the knots further forward on a wig they're usually like single knots so it doesn't take a lot to bleach them out and to make them fade but as you get further back on the wig they tend to be double knots because obviously they start to add more hair as you go further back on the wig so I've taken it all the way back just to make sure that I've bleached any knots necessary just in case I run into any problems when it's time to like part this wig or whatever so I just took it all the way back just in case you're wondering why I've done basically the whole cap and then just to give you a bit of a better view excuse the mess of my filming area this is the behind the scenes reality of the situation but you can see just a different angle and then here you can just see that I'm lifting it back just to kind of check to make sure that it's not doing too much damage to the hair I was pretty happy with it like I can see that it's kind of seeping through um, it will be getting to the hair now so I definitely didn't want to leave it much longer so I'm just unpinning it and I'm taking that off to the bathroom to get that rinsed and as you can see this is the wig in the bathroom I actually ended up applying a tiny bit more of the bleach to it because once I rinsed it off I just spotted a few areas that hadn't taken the bleach quite as well so I just kind of went back over a few areas just to leave it for a few more minutes and then you can see here that I'm just rinsing it off and I'm going to proceed to wash the hair condition the hair and then I'm going to take it back into my room to finish off the process and before you guys ask yes I absolutely hate this process obviously why wouldn't I when I'm allergic to water like that's why I'm standing so funny away from the bath like I'm really just trying to make sure that I keep the water in the bath and from splashing on me because if it splashes on me then it's game over like this wig is not getting installed today so I'm just being as careful as possible I don't always have family members around to help me with things like this you know sometimes they're busy working and stuff so you've got to do what you've got to do and as you can see the hairs come out really curly I'm really happy with it to be honest like the actual curl pattern is lovely from a distance it does look to have taken the bleach well um, it does have that kind of like brassy orangey tinge around the roots but I've only bleached knots myself uh, twice I think and that's happened both times and I haven't found that to have like an actual impact on how good the unit looks so I'm not too worried about that you can see these knots didn't take the bleach as well as I would hope you can still see you do still have some dark knots all around the hairline but I'm coming in with my tweezers and I feel like this got a little bit better with the pluck in you can see as I'm taking some of the further forward hairs out the knots are coming with them and it is looking better but at the same time I'm still not 100% happy with these knots I still think they look a little bit harsh a little bit unnatural um, so that's just something to bear in mind if you're going to be buying from Delago. but at the same time I still wasn't too stressed out about it because I obviously knew that this had a fringe or bangs so it was definitely going to be easy to cover it or to make it less noticeable I'm going to be repeating that on the other side until I'm happy with it so yeah, as you can see, I'm just making my way around the entire hairline. I'm not really focusing too much under the fringe. I'm going to be wearing it down. So at the end of the day, I was just happy that it saved me a little bit of plucking, to be honest. And then I'm going to come in and actually install the wig. So this is the most exciting part, of course. To begin with, I'm going to cut off the top clip. So the clip that's right at the top of the unit, I'm just cutting that off with a pair of these mini scissors. I didn't really get that on camera too well. I literally just cut the thread and then it comes off really easily. It kind of like unravels away from the lace. As you guys can see, I've already got a wig cap on. I did that before I did my makeup. So that's already dried down and stuff. And then I'm just going to kind of try the wig on. I haven't tried it on yet. And since how it's going to sit or how I'm going to place it or anything like that so I'm kind of just experimenting with that and I'm also clipping the fringe out of the way as well because this isn't a good sign but it's already annoying me at this point so I'm clipping it out of the way but it is freakishly long at the moment like it hasn't been cut down at all so I'm just clipping it back out of the way so that I've got a good view of the lace so that I can actually just glue this down without my view being restricted 
and then I'm just tying the rest of the hair back into a ponytail I just want it to be really clear what I'm doing I just don't want any stray bits of hair getting all involved in the glue and ruining everything so I'm just tying it all out the way then I'm pulling the lace back once I've got the placement right and I'm happy with it I'm literally just folding it back like this and then I'm gonna come in with my ghost bond glue and I'm literally just gonna start gluing around my hairline so I start off by doing little dots all around the hairline and then I usually come in with a rat tail comb as well just to kind of smooth out the glue and make sure that it's a nice thin layer so that it's got like a good chance of drying down properly and evenly. So I usually do about two layers of that. I'm also just making sure that I'm removing any stray hairs that have like got in the mix because honestly you don't want all your hairs sticking to this glue because once they're stuck, they stuck, okay? So yeah, I always make sure that I'm really careful with this bit and just kind of make sure that it's as clean as possible. And then once that has dried down to the point where it is almost clear, I'm just pulling the lace forward and I am sticking that down. So you can see that I'm stretching that lace so that it's really tight and then I'm kind of pushing it down on the glue. So I've started with the middle and then I'm going in at the sides and securing the sides. And I'm also just coming in with this comb and just kind of like pushing it down to secure it into the glue as well. And then I'm just coming in with these little scissors. These are just some brow scissors from Morphe, but I really like them for cutting the lace because I find that they're really precise. And as you can see, I'm just coming in and cutting the lace around my ear. So I'm starting off around my ear so that I can get that placement right. Here you have to actually be really careful not to just cut your skin off. Like this is my least favorite part of installing a wig because it just stresses me out. Just do your best with that part. And then obviously you'll be moving on to cutting the rest of the lace. not gonna lie yeah at this point I was trembling like look at that line of the lace like I've never seen anything more noticeable in my life like I hated it at this point but I was still gonna roll with it like I just felt like the lace was too dark for me like it wasn't a good match to my skin even after it had been bleached and yeah at this point I was kind of stressing but I just kind of tried to neaten up the hairline make it look like a natural shape I was just hoping that once I kind of like tied it up and melted the lace down like I just hoped that it would blend more and to be honest it kind of did like it was a lot better after I'd secured it so I'm securing it down with this head scarf it's like a satin scarf so it doesn't like stick to the glue it kind of just wraps it down and compresses it so that it lays nice and flat but these scarves will be linked down below in the description for you anyway so they'll be really easy for you to find if you want to go and get these and then whilst I'm waiting for that to dry down and the wig to kind of like set in place I'm gonna style the hair at this point I'm gonna start taking the hair out and um, you can see I'm starting to style the half up half down and just make it as neat as I can I'm working on the partings as well and then once I'm happy with the parting I'm gonna come in with some mousse this is just the cream of nature mousse which I always use if you guys have seen any of my previous hair videos then you will know that this is my favorite so I'm just smoothing that down and making it nice and wet with the mousse and then I'm gonna brush it out make sure that it's nice and smooth and just I don't know just as neat as possible when it comes to the bit that's gonna be tied up so I'm kind of just smoothing it out and just getting it ready to tie it back and then I'm just putting that top section into a high ponytail leaving the lower half out so obviously I'm doing this half up half down style and then you can see that I'm coming in with my hot comb. So I'm just coming in and smoothing out the lower half of my hair. So yeah, I'm doing the sides, the hairline, and I'm also just going over the little bits that I've tied up as well, just to make sure that they're super, super flat. And then when I take down that top half, if I fluff it out, it's kind of coming together. Can you see it? I can, definitely. It's definitely coming together. But I just need to go and revive these curls. So I'm using my Mister spray bottle, which I mentioned in my previous hair video. And I'm just going to use that to revive the curls. And I'm also just going to put some curling cream through the curls as well, just to make sure that they're nice and defined and fresh. And then it's fringe time. So this was the bit that I was most worried about. And it did prove to be the most stressful. I'm not going to lie. Like, over the past couple of days after filming this video I have been constantly trying to make my fringe even like honestly it's the biggest nightmare I just keep finding stray bits of hairs that just aren't 
the same length and it's just doing my head in but I'm sure I'll get there um so at this point you can see that I straighten the fringe out and it is freakishly long like it is so long like past my nose I can't see so obviously I'm gonna have to trim it down so I just trimmed it to slightly above my eyes I just wanted to be able to see what I'm doing but at the same time I didn't want to take it so short that the damage was irreversible do you know what I mean so I kind of took it as long as I could get away with it being for the time being just for this video and then like I say over the last couple of days I've definitely taken it that tiny bit shorter because it was just getting in my eyes So this is a much better length, honestly. I'm so much happier with this length. And then I'm just coming in with my GHD Max Styler and I'm just curling round the bangs a little bit like that. So yeah, I've just kind of made them curl round so that it sits nicer on my face. But after I did this, I immediately clocked that my fringe was uneven. So I went back in to try and trim it out and just kind of try and make it a little bit more even. But like I said, it was a job and a half, okay? Like it was hard work, but I was pretty happy with it by the end. I definitely liked it so I'm just finishing the hair making sure that I'm happy with the look and then I'm gonna come in and show you the finished look it's just the whole vibe at this point I love this hair once I listened to a few Nicki Minaj songs I was sold on this hair like I was feeling myself okay is the finished look i really really hope that you like this wig and hopefully i'm going to be able to share with you like some more hairstyles as i experiment with it and as i get used to it because i always find that it takes a little bit of time to wear a wig in like i feel like on the first couple of days it's really shaky it kind of always takes me a few days at least to kind of settle and get used to it and find the way that i like to style it the most so i'm sure over on instagram you'll see loads and loads more pictures by now of me wearing this wig in different styles so make sure that you head over there and and like and comment on the picture where you like my hair the most and just let me know that YouTube sent you. So as always angels, thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.